So we're going to go through a step-by-step -step example of implicit differentiation. And just FYI, so I have an entire lesson on implicit differentiation. So if you're watching this video, you should kind of be familiar with the idea, but maybe you just want to see like an example in more drawn out steps, then, then this is the right place for you. But if you don't know how implicit differentiation works, you can look up basically a video on, on my channel, just type the word lesson implicit differentiation in, and, and you can see my video on that. Okay, so I've got 3x plus 2y to the seventh equals 5xy. So, so taking the derivative of this, so first I just take the derivative of 3x, which is just, it's just three. And then I wanna take the derivative of 2y to the seventh. So if I just take the derivative of that and pretend that y was the letter that I wanted to take the derivative of, I get 14y to the six. But the thing is, I was really thinking I was just gonna take the derivative of, of the x's. So to kind of then show that, you know, I, I took the derivative of something else, I put this dy dx right here. So I took the derivative of y with respect to x and we'll deal with this in a second. So we just kind of leave this as a, as a placeholder or as a little marker for now. Okay, so now for the, the tough one. So I actually just had a really great question about what do I do with the five? So if the, the number in front is kind of throwing you off, one thing you can do to make the problem a little nicer to look at, just put the number in front for a second and let's just take the derivative of this guy right here and then we'll deal with the five in a moment. So that, that's like my suggestion for that. Okay, so I've got x times y. So I've really got to use the, the product rule here. And in using the product rule, so I'm gonna treat this part here, this will be my f and this will be my g. So then I can go ahead and, and multiply this together. And remember you have f prime times g plus f times g prime. So that would be the rule that we wanna use. Okay, so remember, I'm just using the x right now as my f. So if I take the derivative of x, that's just gonna be one. So this will be one times y. And then I'll leave the x alone and I'll take the derivative of y. So the derivative of y would be one, but anytime you take the derivative of the y's, you always have to write dy dx. So just to kind of be nice and clear about this. So as I was taking my derivatives here, so when I took the derivative with respect to x, like y was just kind of hanging out, so I didn't have to worry about it. You only put that dy dx when you're actively taking a true derivative of a y. So that's why I put it here. Okay, so now that I've done all that, so what do I do with this five? Well, now I can just distribute the five kind of into this whole thing. So the five kind of just comes along for the ride. So I'm left with three plus 14y to the six dy dx equals, so now this is gonna be 5y plus 5x dy dx, and now I need to solve for dy dx. So I got a dy dx here, a dy dx here. So basically I wanna take these two terms and put them together. And then the stuff that doesn't have dy dx, I wanna, I wanna put it on the other side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite this now as 14y to the six dy dx. I'm going to take this guy here, so it's on the wrong side, so I'm just gonna subtract it over to, so that these two terms are together. So this will be minus 5x dy dx, okay? Now, going to the other side, I had the 5y on this side, but what I wanna do is I wanna bring this three over. So it's a positive three on this side, so to bring it over to the other side, I'm gonna have to subtract it off. Okay, so now from here, like the, usually like the trick that you're gonna use with this is you're gonna factor out this dy dx. So if I factor out my dy dx, dy dx, I get 14y to the six minus five x, and then I've still got all this stuff over here. And so now I'm really in the home stretch, so let me clear some space. So now I can really just divide by this 14y to the six minus five x, so I'm left with dy dx equals 5y minus 3 over 14y to the 6 minus 5x. And so then that's it. That there's, there's our answer. So hopefully this was helpful. If you guys have any other questions or comments, you can always feel free to leave me a comment. It's always helpful when you guys like this video or subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.